Hi guys and welcome back to Aid's Workshop. Um, so I did mention a couple of weeks ago that I was doing another little side project as well. So I'm going to show you the content of making this item and I'm also going to be selling them at the end on eBay. So if you want to help the channel out at all, um, I'll put a link in the description where you can purchase them on eBay and I think I've got 50 on there available for sale. So anyway, enjoy guys. A2 stainless steel nut, M20, half thickness. Oops. Tap down four. And fifty to do. And that's going backwards. <laughs> He's talking and not concentrating. So dimension for the hole isn't critical. I just put them in the vise, slide them up against that uh, one, two, three block. Break through into the spread is a bit precarious, as you can hear. Drill it and tap it in one operation. And so on and so forth, 50 times. So second op now. Um, same nuts that we just drilled and tapped the hole in. Tapped hole facing me. It has got embossed letters, I got them facing up. It doesn't really matter. Down in the vise, up against the stop, butting up against the angle there. I was going to butt against the corner, but there's varying radius or rads on different corners. Um, you know, which is uh, always the case with a nut, unless you actually machined it yourself. So the flat is accurate to everything else. So happy with that. So uh, 3.6 millimeter hole down through. So in a different orientation to the original tapped hole. This is just a hole, 3.6 mil diameter. So I find when I get so deep. If I fill the hole up with my fluid, I get a nice break through the other side. So yeah, I mean, I think I'm at about 25, 27 in now. Um, so yeah, pop that one out in the box, grab another, get rid of the loose swarf that's still on it from tapping it. These will be cleaned before the next stop. Okay, and Rinse and repeat. So uh, I'm not going to let on what it is. You'll find out at the end. So uh, what am I running at? 700 with this three and a half mil drill. Way too slow normally, but this is A2. Um, I don't want to burn the drill out. I got 50 to do. I'm in no great rush. Um, so yeah, um, carry on, do some more, bit of swarf under there, yeah, um, let's just rock and roll with them.
Ooh.
So, do you know what it is? Well, obviously it's a key ring, but... <laughs> Cheers, guys. So, yeah, it's a bottle opener. And, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to be putting them on eBay. Now, I will put a link in the description. I've got them up at 9 99 a pop. I am going to put a pound from every one to my favourite charity, which is Alzheimer's Research. I'm doing that via work. So everyone that's sold, I'm hoping to raise £50 and put it towards Alzheimer's Research in Wales. So, uh, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a charity that's close to my heart, let's just say. So, I don't do Patreon. I don't have a merch shop, as it were. And I'm hopefully... Um, yeah, I mean, times are hard for all of us, so I'm trying to raise a little bit of funds uh, to buy some more bits and bobs to finish off the mini lathe and to fund projects going forward. Um, yeah, Patreon. Uh, I've thought about Patreon for a while, but um, I can't sort of commit to being able to give that extra content because I never know what's going on in my life and what have you from one weekend to the next. Lately, I've been able to put up a lot of videos and... Uh, so it's been good, uh, the general monetization from YouTube. But uh, anyway, if you fancy one, it's a good stock in filler. If you like engineering stuff, spark plugs, nuts and beer, these are the ideal key rings for you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you all very soon. Cheers. Oh. I haven't tested every one, but I'm working on it.